Hello everybody, this is Rob Redman of Prior Studios and welcome to this video. Now this is a part of the series of kind of question and answer videos that I've been doing. Um, and one question I've had a couple of times over the last few days is regarding selection methods. Uh, and this is kind of more appropriate to when you're modeling than anything else. Um, so I've got this head model here and I'm just going to talk about a couple of the selection methods. Now when you're in uh, model or object mode up here, so you've got the model tool there and this is just for selecting a particular object um, which you can either do in the object browser over here or just by directly selecting it with one of your selection tools like so. You can see the, the mesh becomes white um, and you get the bounding box which is the orange markers here in the corner. Um, but this doesn't let you do anything so you might find yourself going into either point mode, edge mode or polygon mode and getting the appropriate selections here as well. Now you can also flick between these so if I'm in edge mode here you can also flick between them by hitting return uh, which will then swap between the different modes as well uh, which is fine but what if you're kind of wanting to have as much space available you don't want to have that hand on the on the keyboard over there um, where you could remap the command to uh, another key which might be more convenient um, or you can use one of the other modes so this button here um, which is in default default world if you click and hold that I'm just gonna pop that open so we can see what we've got uh, we've got auto switch mode and tweak mode now auto switch mode is quite useful what that does if we go into our model tool mode over here uh, it doesn't do anything but as soon as we select say polygon mode you can see that as we move our cursor across the model this is selecting points edges and polygons. Now if I was to select this edge here and then keep moving my cursor, this is painting a selection um, which isn't always what you want. Sometimes it's very useful because I might want to select you know, these polygons here and then use the move tool to start moving them around. But what if you just want to do a quick move and you maybe you want to move kind of this point over here and then jump over to this point over here and move that well this is where tweak mode comes in so I'm just going to select tweak mode and what this lets us do is again the same it will automatically jump from polygon to edge to point mode um, and you can do this just by well let, let's take this edge over here grab it and you can then move that around so let's go to point mode we can move that point and this is really handy for just kind of tweaking your model on the fly without having to worry too much about swapping around between different tools and doing stuff like that so you can see that I can grab these points I can just start manipulating my mesh much more easily um, and this makes life just a bit more convenient and a bit faster because I can now just do all the kind of things that I wanted to do without swapping between various different tools and I don't have to worry about uh, swapping between my move tool uh, I can just leave it on move I don't need to go from selection choose a point and then choose the move tool and grab one of the axis all that it's all done for me uh, I can literally grab a point and move it so tweak mode is very good for doing these kind of fast maneuvers on your mesh auto switch mode is really good if you don't want to do the same kind of thing um, if you don't want to accidentally start moving stuff around then the auto switch mode is really good uh, and then obviously default mode is for those people who want to make their selections more regularly now if we go into let's say uh, tweak mode again we can still do things like pressing UL to do a loop selection um, and you can see the tool pops up but we're not actually getting that selection the way we want it um, and we might need to go back into something like our live select tool uh, and then let's make a selection there and you can see that even though the tool command comes up and you can see our cursor's got the loop select it's not actually letting us do anything uh, so this is one downside of using the tweak mode if you go into auto switch mode you can see that this is doing it um, and it's using whatever is our current selection so if I was to take that edge let's say these two edges and do a loop select it's gone into edge mode uh, if I go to point mode and then do UL you can see you don't really get much of a, a, 
loop select on points it actually turns into an edge selection um, so let's hit the spacebar and you can see that if I do that again UL we're getting the same loops as we would do from point mode and that's just down to the actual point versus that uh, edge mode that's got nothing to do with it at all so just bear in mind that if you're doing if you're the kind of artist who uses lots of loop selections and you're cutting edge loops into your your mesh then doing it in default or auto switch mode might be your, more useful um, but if you're actually going in for fine details and you're actually trying to you know smooth your mesh out or just change some of the proportions and mess around with the points and edges and everything then tweak mode is really useful so thanks for that question uh, the couple of you that wrote in and or emailed me and asked about it um, that's what the tweak mode is for and uh, keep your questions coming so if you want to know anything if you've seen an icon and you don't really know what it does or if there's something you want to learn how to do in Cinema 4D um, or any other app for that matter if I know how to do it then uh, I'll do a video and help out um, and I'll see you all again in the next video thanks very much I've been Rob Redman bye bye